In this lecture, we are going to explain about one of the main uh, core functionality of Redux Toolkit, Create API. So we are going to demonstrate one of the example using Create API. How we can use Create API as a reducer and a API hitting. Okay. Now what I am going to do here, I am going to import my project. So this is the project RTK Query. So we have imported the project. So inside this project, what I am going to do? Uh, install our Redux toolkit. We can just install Eon at the red Redux. Yes, uh, we can just check out the documentation for installation toolkit. Mm. Yes, Redux toolkit. Here is the installation library. You can just go to the get started section. Quick start. Now here is you can see the installation setup you can just install this two library so we can just install yes yarn add yes so redux toolkit we are using for all all our reducer index everything react redux we are using for providing so we have importing provider on app.js right basically it is it will be imported on provider so we can just install these two library yes it's installed now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create one example, one app.js file is already there. Now I'm going to delete all this here. Now, simply I'm going to uh, type uh, a pure function here, export default. Yeah. We can have view style flex equal to one background color. We can just say, red okay now inside this one we can just import react from react also we can import the view from react native fine now what we can do we can just make this as a arrow function we can just remove this all the cons app Yes, we made it as an arrow function. Here is your arrow function. Now we can just export this one. Export default app. Now it should render a background color. We have to make this as style. Okay, now let's see what happened. If we just clear. Yes, right. Now inside this part, I'm going to do, I'm going to call an API called official uh, joke API. Okay, so here I'm going to call an API. First of all, we need to create a state for loader set loader use state we can set it to false right now the next thing is we need a variable to store the data const data set data right we can just create as a null or a defined whatever we can we can just create as null for now now then error right if any error come we can just have a variable to store that error set error use state yes now we have created all our state we can just call our api right use effect okay now here is the use effect in this i'm going to call the api now the api is if you look into the api here is the api you can just copy from mm, here yes this is the api star programming or programming random so if i just call this api here you can see it's return a, a, an id now if i just copy this into our program here you can see we can just say const base url we can split this api into base url right so base url is equal to this one now rather than uh, adding all this as base url what we can do we can make this as uh, a type whatever we can do we can just pass this as a base url fine now here i am going to hit the api using the fetch method before that one what i need to do i need to set the loader right set loader true now here i am going to hit the api fetch so we can just concat our string using base url so we can just have base underscore url add a dollar symbol before the string 
and we can concatenate the other string whatever we have so we can just check out the api so rest is programming slash radar right so we can just have programming slash ladder already we have added slashes we don't want this one and we can just await this response right so we can just make this as asynchronous so const async api call i'm just calling as an api here fine now what we can do we can just paste this in here now we need to make async here right and we can just have let response is equal to a bit for jpi we can just console the response whether we are receiving the response properly before we are going before we are adding any other logic we can just console it and what we can do we need to call this api right so we can just api call here on the use effect so we have declared the api call here and we just created this one we can just format the document once more yes now what we can do we can just go to the console and just run this debug here in the debug you can see let's see let's run the application once more article query yeah here you can see the response is coming now what we need we need to make this response readable so we can just have this as response dot json right so we can just have json here so that response will be json right we can just add one more json now if you just check here you can see the data whatever we need we are getting the data what we can do we can set the data here set data response of zero so we don't want to response we don't want to add an as array we can just add as an object if you just checks once more the m first element will be an object right here you can see this is an object right now the next thing is we need to call the loader api so we can just make our loader false now if I, any error comes so if any error come on the api call we can just set into error method right so we can just have catch here error set error as error and then also we can just make this as here now we have a response is response should be response you can just have yes now if i just go here if i can put loader just having a loader view style flex equal to one align item sender justify content sender and we can import activity indicator okay so we can just import our activity indicator color we can have a white or we can just have a black now this we can make into white right now if i just reload let's see what's happened i can just run the application once more yes any error is coming let's wait if for initial time loader is true false we have a response is here yes now we can just reload the function once more loader value we can just print whatever the value is coming on loader we can have console log yes why it is printing because we have we don't have black let's see yes the api is already loaded right so that's, that's why it's showing so we can just have white here itself and we can just have a data printing here so that we can understand if we have got we have received the response right now what we can do we can just have a text and I'm just printing data dot. If I just into look into the response here, you can see ID is there, type is there. So we can just have a punchline, right? So we can just have data dot punchline. And we can just make this has some styling. Color, we can just have black. And font size, we can have 13. Fine. Now, if I just format the document, let's see what's happened. 
uh, text is not imported we can just import the text now if i see everything yes the data is printing here we can just make it align at the center also we can just reduce the text align center and also justify content center align item center so this will make our text at the center right you can just have a format this document yes now you can see the data is printing here so we have completed all our api hitting format using the pure function using the fetch method right now what the next thing is what i am going to do i am going to replicate all this this thing you see uh redex toolkit method okay i am going to create a store i am going to create a slice method for api calling using the create api method right so what we can do we can just create one folder inside here src uh, inside src i am going to create one more file store.js okay so inside store what we are going to do we are going to create our store right so what we can do import config store from redex toolkit okay so we have imported our store redex toolkit a uh, store now we can just create export const store here configure store what i am doing to configure store is added the next thing is we need to add a reducer right so we can just have an empty reducer for now we are not adding any reducer now the next thing is we can have a middleware for running the application right so we can just have a middleware get here default middleware is a callback we can just have default middleware now we need to call this here get the uh, default middleware okay now what we need we need to concat any middleware here right so we have created a middleware with a reducer now we need to import this in our app.js right so we can just have we can just make all this code into app.js file so we can just create a home.js file here home screen where all, all our logic are written home screen dot js now i am going to paste this home screen right we can just have home screen here we can just have a home screen so inside this app.js what i'm going to do just import home screen from src then home screen right now we can just remove all this logic we don't want because we are already written in this old logic in our uh, home screen so we can just have on home screen here right now what we need we can just refresh everything should work as it before yes everything is working perfectly now what we need we need to import provider so import provider from react redux so that's why we have installed react redux react redux we are using for provider okay now we can just have provider and we can have a store right so we can just import our store import store it should be in the bracket so you can just import store from src we have created our store right now we can just supply the store here store yes and we can encapsulate this home screen inside this provider now if i just console.log we can just check store is getting value store dot get state it should give an error we have not passed a valid reducer now we can just go here and refresh yes as i mentioned ha store does not have a value but still have the values are coming we are receiving the values right so we have an empty object but we are getting an error we had not even passed a value reducer right we have only passed a empty object right now the next thing is next thing is we are going to create all the api logic whatever we have written inside the application inside home screen we are going to change into another file okay so what we can call this file has uh we can just call this as a jogs or we can just say api dot js okay now inside this api dot js we are going to configure all the api calling whatever we have written right so we have written a lot of logic in the home screen right here you can see this loader logic everything we have written right now we are going to create this logic inside our api.js file first of all what we are going to do we are going to import our 
create api method create api from redux toolkit okay and also we can just import fetch base query fetch base query from at the rate redux toolkit bar we are just bar we are query bar react so we are importing from redux toolkit query react so we have imported this one and create api now what we are going to do we are going to create our api calling method right so we can just have export const we will just declare a variable we will just export counts here i am going to api jog api because it is already a programming slash jog right so if you can just check here it's a jogs api right so you can just call it jog api jogs api create api right also we can just change this into jogs api.js file so we can just change into jog.api.js file yes now here what i am going to do I need to give a reducer path so that it can store all our values so what i'm going to do i'm just giving a random name joker api okay jogs api you can just say jogs api so this is the reducer which will handle all the api response we are uh, we have created we have familiarized with the api response using on the slice create tongue action right if you are not uh, watching create tongue video you can just refer it to the create tongue video right now what i am going to do here i am just passing base query okay here i am going to pass base query what is a base url which i need to use i am just creating a base query if you are familiar with axios instant you are creating axios instant right so inside that instance what you are going to you are you will create a base instant right so just like that we are going to create a fetch base query instance here now here you can just say add our base url right so what i am going to do inside home screen just copy this base url to here yes we have passed our base url now the next thing is we need to pass the endpoint right so inside here home screen we are just appending the endpoint right the exact endpoint this is base url and this is endpoint right so we can just have have created our base query right just like axion instance we have created our base query now the second thing is here you can see we are passing an endpoint we are appending point right if you look, just look into your uh here you can example here you can see i'm just passing a type after jog right so programming my type so we can just programming here you can see i'm getting a jog from programming section right so we need to pass this will be a dynamic value and this will be a constant value so we have to create like that our api right so for that one what i'm going to do i'm going to create an endpoint so endpoint will return a method called builder so builder is the method here what i'm going to do i'm just creating a function which is a direct return and then we can just make this as a builder dot query method okay so we can just have sorry here you can just create a method get so we can just type get jog by type right here you can just type get jog by type now we need to create the query right so we can just have builder dot query builder dot query now if i just put in a bracket inside this one we are going to create the query okay now we need to pass the type as we are passing the type as program so we can just pass the program type so inside this one we are going to create our type okay so we can just have dollar type and slash we can have random okay so if you pass the query type programming it will append and it will append with the base url now before going to our implementation what we can do we can just console all this thing right const jobs api now if i just go here let's refresh the function yes here you can see the all the consoles are coming right now if i just check there is an endpoint here get jobs by type endpoint is there available and use enhance endpoint is there middleware is there reducer is there reducer path is there there is a hook is available yes use get j uh, use get jog by type query right what we can do we can just pass this or export this as method right we can export const now here i am just exporting this from jogs api fine so we have created our jogs api 
now inside the store what we can do we, we have to sorry i already done that one what we can do we can just import our all our so this was our previous reducer now inside this one what i am going to do i am going to import my reducer okay so this is our store import so inside the store what we need to import jogs api right jogs api from jogs api and also i am going to import one more method from um, uh, the redux tool it's setup listeners so inside setup listener what i am going to do i am just passing setup listeners store dot dispatch okay now here if you just go to the console again you can see a variable is already declared right jobs api so we don't want to declare a variable in the reducer we can just use reducer jobs api dot reducer path so what will be the value jobs api right it is a di direct string we don't want to declare a, another string for the reducer we can just use whatever we have already given the name here jobs api reducer path okay now the next thing is what we can do we can just assign our reducer here jokes api dot reducer so we have assigned the api here so we have assigned the reducer here now we have what we need the next thing is the final thing is we need to contact our middleware right so we can just have jokes api dot middleware so we have attached our all our jokes api contact slash nation inside our reducer now we can just check whether it is running fine yes it just reload the function once more here you can see inside jokes api we are getting the response right yes here you can see the data is there response is there everything is clear there is no error right now inside home screen we need to remove all the api code we can just remove all the api code and logic we can just have a return null here before i am just return null okay now what i am going to do here i'm just going to import my use jet query from our jobs api right so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this hook as a console here console just console i'm just passing my type okay just passing my type here programming let's see what is it printing so we can just go here let's print see here you can see the values is printing on initializer right there are data is there loader is there is error is there everything right every data data whatever we have is fulfilled in the fulfilled section you can see data is coming so we have created a hook using create slice so inside this one whatever values we need we need loader and also we need data right so data is needed the second thing is error if any error is coming right so we can just have is error flag okay is error flag right here it's it can come uh, distract from this use jerry method right use jerry hook now if i just go here and i remove the null value yes here you can see the values are printing now if i just go refresh once more and reload the app once more here you can see the data is coming here and but the data is not printing right so if i just go here console my data what is the problem here i'm just accessing as an object right if you can just go data zone zero dot punch line it will work because now it's coming as an array direct array is coming right so we can just refresh and let's see the same thing whatever we have before it's coming as it right now oh we have some error we can just check what is data is coming console.log data if i rush refresh here is the data is coming so inside this data is coming right if you just check out cannot read undefined so the data is inside the data right so you can just check what is the data is actually coming spending is there home screen data dot data we can just check data dot data what is coming yes now uh, if i just type refresh
Meanwhile, we can, before giving error, we can just comment this one so that we can easily understand the error. Yes, now let's see. Let us check. Uh, let us check once more what the data is coming actually. Uh, it has some error. We can just have data. Here is the data is coming as zero, right? So it should be data zero. Yeah, it should fall back. Loader value will be um, is loading, not loader. That's why the error is coming. You can just have is loading inside here. Is loading. Fine. Now if I just refresh, it should work as it's before. Uh, you can have it. Yes. yes it's coming because uh only status is fulfilled it's only rendering so uh, that time is uh we can just make e success okay so if you success only we can just have to render this one yeah fine now we can just format the document if the success is not there we can just return null so on the success time it will show the punch line now if i just go to my uh if success is not defined if success should be imported from the query okay so we can just have if success also if you can just make it data is available only that time should be printed it's also fine right so we can just have data now if i just go to my example here you can see this is coming right so we have completely completed all our api call using a single query and this data is storing in our reducer, right? So here you can see this is API calling, all the API call with a single file. We have created an API call structure and we have stored all our data in the reducer. You can see reducer value we have stored. See, this is the reducer, clear? So that is the advantage of create API method. You can create, combine the API call and reducer simultaneously, clear?